up? Today was crazy. What happened today is it actually started out a good day. And so I'm studying and I took a power nap. I'm really excited about the gym ministry and um, cannot wait to start working out. And so many of my favorite girls come in to do that. And so I'm really excited, pumped up, like, all right, Jesus, let's go. And then also we've got our tea party for Mother's Day for the whole family. The games are set up, music, everything. Um, and uh, then, so anyways, everything's going great. And then Wednesday night, I go to pull out of my expedition and I get stuck on a rock. And I'm like stuck on a rock. God, you are my rock. I'm stuck on a rock. Okay, well, I would love to be stuck on Jesus because I am stuck on Jesus, you know, and God is my rock. So, okay, this can't be bad, but there's this huge rock just lodged underneath my vehicle and I, I'm i just like, okay, this is happening. Jesus, I trust you. I don't get what this means at all, but I trust you. And then, so earlier that day, because see, at some point in my journey the last four years, the Lord has showed me that he wants me to build a church. So my ultimate goal is to actually build a church, um, Church of the Nazarene. And um, I know where I'm going to build it, and I've already decided on the name. And the name is going to be Believe, because most importantly during my journey... As in like Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and leap not on your own understanding. Belief has been such a big part of it. And so I finally decided that, you know, after prayer and thinking on this for four years that I want to name it Belief. And so I told my sisters and everything. And so that day, the same day that I got stuck on the rock, um, my friend Misty tells me, I was singing a song with her called Son of God by Francesca Battistelli. And she's like, you know, me and Asia were talking and you seem really good, which like surprised me because I'm like, really? I was just kind of, you know, I just, I really like helping people. So I like to motivate them. And I know that Misty is very competitive. And so I wanted to kind of belt out so she could be like, oh no, she's not still my thunder, you know? And so therefore she would really get into it and sing it. And so anyway, so she tells me, she's like, we were thinking that you ought to try singing that song by Cher called Believe. And I'm like, Believe? And so just spiritually, I just want to cry because I'm like, Jesus, thank you. That's confirmation that you like what I want to name your church and that I'm, you know, seeking your will and doing the right things. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Everything's going great. So anyway, so I'm stuck on this rock. I'm not crying because I'm stuck on the rock because I'm like, all right, Jesus, these last four years have been crazy. So I know that whatever this is, there's a reason, there's a way, there's a will. I don't know. I don't have to know. I don't know if it's the enemy. I don't know if I'm not supposed to go. I don't know what it is, Jesus, but I trust you. But I'm crying and my sister's like, Candace, is going to be okay. But I'm crying because it's so beautiful that Jesus was talking to me about believe, about the church I want to build, which is my dream that... My dream that I never even knew I could have that Jesus gave me. And so then I get home and my mother-in-law had bought me a, um, like a word saying that's like a knickknack and it said believe. And so that was more confirmation. So anyway, so then today I'm like, okay, studying, preparing, ready to go take my quiz, excited about college, glad to be serving the Lord and I'm just having a blast, right? And then then I'm like, all right, well, I know that something might have ripped whenever I was doing that. So, whatever, I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going anyway. Nobody's keeping me from going because, you know what, I did not put up a fight for nothing. I'm going to do what God called me to do, period. And so, Andrea, my sister, texts me and she's like, Candace, do you know, you know, um, Trace will come and work on your vehicle, but you need to... Um, you need to look at it and see if it's leaking. And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. Sorry, I have no other ride. I have to go. I'm going to go. But at the same time, I'm kind of praying to God. And I'm like, all right, Jesus, you know, logic applies as you have taught me. And I don't want to be that statistic. The one who left in the vehicle that she knew could possibly be really damaged and get hurt or die. You know what I mean? Something like that. And, and so God says, don't test me. And so all this is going through my head. And I'm like, okay, God, what are you telling me? At the same time, while I'm telling my sister, I'm going, you know, because I'm so stubborn. And so 
anyway, so after I say this prayer, my sister texts through and says, I just did. And I'm like, oh, you just told me not to go. And I'm like, okay, I need a little more confirmation. Forgive me, Jesus. But please, God, just make it plain to me that if you don't want me to take my expedition, which you gave me, your gift to me, then I won't go and I'll just have to trust you again on that and I'll do it. I'll do it, God, because if you called me to it, you're going to bring me through it. If you've taught me anything, you've taught me that, to believe and to trust you. And, and you know, so anyways, so then my cousin Joe Collinsworth posts a song saying, you're not going anywhere in my little red wagon. I have a red SUV because the axle is dragging. It's a song. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, Jesus, that's enough confirmation. You're telling me, baby girl, it's like that story with the boat, you know, how, oh, save me, save me. God's going to save me. And a helicopter comes. You're like, no, thank you. God's going to save me. Then a boat comes. You're like, no, thank you. And God's like, hello. I sent the boat in the helicopter. I don't want to be that chick, you know? So anyway, so I'm like, all right, I get it, I get it. So I'm frustrated, but at the same time, I'm so excited because I had this verse ready to go for the gym ministry, which is going to be, uh, you know, God gives his angels charge over thee, lest thee dash thy foot against a stone. Um, that's the shortened version. That one's uh, Psalms 9111. And so think about that. Lest thy dash thy foot on a stone, the rock I ran into. Anyway, so my husband, praise God, I called my college instructor and said, please don't kick me out of the class. I love this class. Please, I promise you, this is not just things I'm making up, you know, not even those exact words, but we prayed together. He's really amazing, and um, God is in control of all this anyway, and so I had to trust. So come to find out, Pastor Mark, amazing, was going to let me drive his car. How amazing is that? I love my church. My pastor is so much Jesus, and so is everybody at my church. So anyways, and so I'm like, okay, cool. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do this. And then Joshua gets a call, and so that's my husband. Joshua calls me and is like, hey, baby, I'm going to be home. And so now I don't have to do all that running, and I'm in the Z, and I'm heading to class, and I made it, y'all. I made it. Woo! So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Peace.